Well, we're on the same page because uh, I ate like 30 milligrams right before I went to bed. Like two miles in, I was like, you know what? I'm just doing another mile, man. This is like posted right now. Go, shit, God. These jackets are so funny. Team Russia. Yo. They're dope, dude. Yeah, they hang so crazy, but they're really comfortable. Oh, I love it, dude. I think it's gangster. Hey, bro. <laughs> you wanna go play a little football? Oh, yeah. Go to the weed doctor like that, he's gonna be Oh yeah, we got weed doctor today. Yeah. I, dude, honestly, I would have forgotten. That's how busy my mind's been. I watched the vlog this morning. <laughs> Holy shit, and that's when I texted you. I was like, okay, weed doctor at 11.45, I'll be over at 11. I'm gonna wear these pants, but I don't know which shoes to wear. <laughs> They're really like scrub color. I didn't even really yeah, they really are. Hey, hey little angel face. Hey, little... What about the, cla the Pharrell's with the uh, brown and, or the blue? What? The Pharrell's that are like teal. Out of the teal ones, I guess. I'm First, like, I was thinking more like green shoes and a green fucking. Yeah. I like how your idea of matching clothes is just stating to be the same color. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's all I idea. got, though. What do you want? What? You're already so hot. You want breakfast? You want breakfast? Oh. Here, there we go. People keep asking what this bowl is for. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that. I go all green. Nice. Wear it like you. Yeah, dude. You look like a G. <laughs> What's up, guys? Love it. <laughs> With the tag out. You just naturally have the tag out. I'm just going to throw these on. Just go ahead and throw these on. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's day is ruined. Everybody who comes in contact with me. Like, that guy's fucking outfit ruined my day. It's so annoying, guys. Yeah, we gotta. Did you get the Pharrell's today? These pants are so funny. You just keep saying that. that even the black ones yesterday were about It is like they're ballooned up. Like, if you look but at them on the ankle, layers. there's it, two layers. It literally is like a big. Yeah. But then they're not super long, so you can, like, do your whole height beast. My socks are pulled up. Thing. All right, let's see them. What? Oh, shit. Yeah. Moment we've been waiting for. Who's been waiting for it? <laughs> I don't know. Just saying. You have an injury from an actual car accident. That's your weed injury. Yeah, you have to remember the lie that you told last year. <laughs> Are we both being seen today? No, I just set you up and then I'll go do it. I just, I don't Your shit's gonna expire. I got a month more than no, you. No, you don't. Keep saying that shit. You keep saying that it's a month after I'm looking we at it. Bro, you did not sign up for your fucking med card a month after. Maybe two, me. three weeks. Maybe two, three days. We can go check the vlog. You're crazy. Oh. It's about a month. Issued 8.30. Okay. What was yours issued? I don't issue? fucking know, but I know. But it means I have until August 30th. Okay. Which means we're in July. Yeah, I'm going to get it done like next week. Oh, was this that of the last pair? I think that was suede. It's like leather. I gotta tell you, maybe just because they're all black, but I like that. that it looks way better. fucking better. But I thought it had like a little like 3M hit around it. I thought that would still be wrong. Yeah, those are way. There's no three stripes on them. Nope. All the best Adidas shoes don't have three stripes on them. Like the Raph Simmons. What? Do they have three stripes? Which Raph Simmons? I don't know. The, those Most like. Of them do, yeah. And that's not one of the best shoes from Adidas either, so that's why. I thought you meant more expensive shoes. No, I mean the best shoes from Adidas don't have stripes on them. Okay, like the NMDs you like with no stripes. Pharrell's, Yeezys. Yeah, yeah Yeezys don't have stripes. I wasn't even thinking of that. You here today? Yeah, yeah okay. I told you that edible though. Just go with the full Euro height fit today. Yeah. Like, yo, dog, I don't dress from my motherfucking closet. I just unbox shit. Throw it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This cribs. My cribs is no closet. Package come in. What we do in the morning is we open a package. That's how we get dressed. <laughs> so it's, a little, it's a little package we'll let here. You know what I'm saying? We don't got time to wash clothes. We don't got time to pick shit out. Mystery box challenge. Mystery box fit challenge. What is that? Just another pair of the same? What, these? Yeah. That's a butter. Should I wear one butter? Yeah, dog. And one fucking 500 as a test? I was gonna do that the other day at the gym, just being stupid. I'm gonna do the hype test. Like, one day, I wore Adiprene on my left foot, boost on my right foot for six months. Here's my review. The review after the jump. I've been limping ever since. Yo, I'm here, I'm your nurse. The hype nurse. The hype nurse in the building, what you need. Hey, I gotta come change your catheter, don't spill no dick blood on my fucking shoes, the brand new. All right. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. I got a pair of butters. Hey, did you eat? Did you eat? It's every day, bro, that I get mud on your pants. What'd you roll it up? Glue. Glue's an indica. Is it? Yes. It's a heavy indica. I use it as like We have an ounce of cherry diesel. What the fuck are you doing? God bro? damn, glue is, yes, glue is a fucking heavy, heavy indica. That would explain some things. Does it? Does that explain why you can't get shit done when you smoke it? Yep. Alright, hold on. Where's that cherry diesel? This fucking camera is still crooked as fuck, homie. Hold on. You killed me. Ah, oh, now it looks crooked. Crack me up, dog. <laughs> God, fucking Friday. You know what's crazy about Friday the 13th tattoos? This year, and I'm not like as involved in the tattoo world, so I don't. I might just be seeing pieces of shit, but it really seems like over the last couple of years, dudes who are so anti Friday the 13th have folded. Have folded. Yeah, they are like now, like, okay, I got some Friday the 13th stuff coming. Everybody folds, dog. Everybody gives in. Mm -hmm. You do the loud challenge in the doctor's office. You should. I thought this was the place to get my license. I'll show y'all I know how to drive, motherfucker. <laughs> Seriously. Yo, what's good? Let's get it popping, Doc. Pump, yeah. pump, pass. You say I know how to roll, too, bitch. That's a funny skit. Yeah. I did skits. Oh, no. No, yeah. last night I'm streaming putting my bed together. Like, I just put it on. I saw it. And Brandy says something to me, and somebody goes, This is scripted. I'm like, yeah, me and Brandy fucking sat down <laughs> yeah. and wrote Actually, down. Actually, I've been masterminding this whole thing <laughs> yeah. for months. So the Takashi thing just sounds like another... I didn't even hear about what's going on. Judge. You got arrested. Yeah, but every first of all, it's a misdemeanor charge, so who the fuck cares? I mean, I get it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, for but, choking that kid out? Yeah. Fuck that little kid. That's what I'm saying. And so here's the thing. So basically... I think what happened is right before he went on tour, he was supposed to not. They were like, oh, you know, you got to handle this misdemeanor case. Fuck a misdemeanor. I'm leaving the country and going on tour. So he leaves the country, goes on tour. The court feels fucking disrespected. He gets back in the country. They literally, like, have dudes waiting. Fucking For a misdemeanor? Yeah, and that's what's ridiculous, dude. And what How else? much money did they spend to fucking come get him? Dude, the well, what else? is They're not giving him bail. And he's sitting there going, he's like, look, I'm famous. Like, people want to kill me. Like, you can't just put me in jail like this for a fucking misdemeanor. You're not gonna set me bail on a misdemeanor. You know, you really didn't take it serious the first time and you went to another country, so we're holding you without bail now. I don't know if they'll set a bail later, but that's why they won't set a bail. But it's just fucked up, dude. It's a system like bullying somebody. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, I left the country because I had a major fucking tour and I didn't think a misdemeanor was a huge deal. Yeah. She was like, well, it is. And now you're you're in jail. And of course, like the news source that reports it is like, Takashi was arrested for putting his hands around the throat of a 16-year-old child. This is only years after he was found on the internet yeah, with a 13-year-old child. Like, and, fuck you know, that kid. That kid rolled up to him at the yeah. mall, was like talking shit that was like galleria there's no there's also no repercussions for people who just talk shit to you i know it's Everybody, so fucked you're up you're supposed to just let people disrespect you and da da da, da. especially like young kids because a lot of young kids use that shit when you're under 18 you talk as much shit as you want yeah you know no one over 18 can yeah. knock your fucking teeth out yeah. Gosh, he's supposed to be like you know what actually i'm gonna sue you for slander sir i don't mm -hmm. like the way you're talking and then like well i like, can't sue him for slander because that's not slander but or whatever i'm saying like what is he gonna call the cops and be like you're no there's nothing verbally. that you can do about That's my point. Really, especially when you're famous, people will just be like, no different than people on the internet. It. Like people will talk shit to me or anyone else. Like, well, you're up. You're, you're in the public, so yeah, you, you should be it. used to it. Like, yeah. be used to a little criticism. I'm used to criticism. Just get used to me putting my foot up your fucking ass. Like, if you're not gonna, if you wouldn't say it to my face, this kid at least said it to his face. Yeah. Which is fine. But, but the response is, is like, if you say this shit to my face, I'll choke you the fuck out. There's just no option. Yeah. The worst thing that we did in this country is take away fighting. We need fighting. People need to fight. Fighting was great, dude. Yeah, the I mean, fact that you can't punch somebody in the fucking face. People used to square up in high school and end shit and shake yeah, hands yeah. after. Yeah, it wasn't until people started getting guns that it got stupid. Why not every fucking month have a fucking sign up sheet in your town and you got a beef with somebody in town? Everybody signs up and you got to pay fifty dollars for a boxing fight and all everybody in the neighborhood. You get the whole neighborhood together and every month everybody watches everybody who's got a beef. Whole be whole city gets squabbles the beef. Yeah, publicly with an event that's catered 
catered, there's food, there's drinks, there's and all that money. Plus you pay, plus you charge people to get in. Then you have a tough man contest basically. And all that money can go into the fucking city or the schools. True. How much money are you gonna raise? It's like, yo, you got a problem? Ray Ray fucks your wife? Well, hit the sign up for him, dog. And yeah. hit the sign Next up for him. Thursday. You, know, you heard you got called out. Like, what? But Ray Ray put your name on the sign up for him. He heard you fucked his wife. And he's like, what? Yeah, you got 20 days, man. It's fucking the 10th. You, you better start trading. Throw the fucking Domino's box off. Like, oh, this motherfucker gonna try and test me? Been here for 20 years. It'd be a healthier world. Everybody would have to be in better shape. Mm -hmm. So what about the little guy that's you in the be right, though? Ready. You wouldn't talk shit. But what if you're not talking shit? You're just a nice little guy, and then some, like, 8-foot-tall, 300-pound monster fucks your wife. And then you're like, fuck, I gotta put this guy on the list. What do I do? Well, well, I mean, you could or you just give bounty. up your wife. No, you bounty, you bounty out. There's oh, gotta be you business. could hire fighters. Yeah, there's gotta be a business model here. So you're like, okay, you're a weaker man. You've been injured. You're small. This guy's really big. Hey, buddy, see the commercial. Hey, I'm Brian, 350 pounds, and I can bench 430. Yeah. Find your wife and with another man. Is that sign up sheet just staring back at your face? <laughs> There's like a handshake and try to write on it. Can't quite get the balls to write your name on the sign up sheet. Don't worry. Here at Rinter Renegade, we got a Rentegade. That'll be what it's called. Our extensive staff, and it just goes down a line yeah. of all these jack guys. And you have like the baddest motherfucker in the state. Nobody's fucking with him. And then you just fuck. walk around and fuck everybody's. Wow, you see the sign up for him? No one's doing it. Nobody. Yet. Go ahead, sign up. Yeah, sign up. Busy fucking your wife. Graveyard next to us. All of his past opponents. So crazy today, huh? A tire baby. Get used to rocking with me just for a little bit because uh, I'm gonna be in San Diego and you're still gonna see me. I'm still here. I don't even know if this makes sense, but oh. Oh. you're totally gonna match the fucking doctor. That's the best part. <laughs> doc yeah. is in. Hey, Doc. Hey, what's up, Doc? It's gotta be another short one today, though, because. I have got, got to get that room straightened out. In there. Oh, dude, I still have to move. I mean, it's not over yet. Like, backwards, can We're gonna call Brandy, make her come outside because we can't. Hey, listen, That's listen, Tuts. listen, Tuts. You got. I'm coming downstairs. Oh, oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, Brand. Hi. Hi. See you later. Bye. My edible from last night keeps fucking hitting me in waves. I feel really stoned, but we have to go to the stone doctor, to the weed doctor, to renew my medical license. Yeah. So. That's the plan. What are you doing? Do you see my face? <laughs> Your ass. No, it's, it's, not, it's not matching up like you think it is, that's for sure. Andy Warhol, you are not. <laughs> Whoo! It is done, son. Someone just left a comment, like, if you're gonna wear other shoes that don't have boost, then try out other models like Asics to feature gel or Vapor Max that features air. I said, why don't I just wear exactly what I want when I want instead of letting other people dress me? What are you talking about? Like, I've never fucking... When did you even like, say you're trying out shoes other than boost? What are on my feet right now? Oh, I get it, but they're still... Well, they're not boost, but they're Adidas. I was thinking Adidas. Hi. Come on. Right. Prince came back. These were a pain in the ass. Essentially, this is what happened. The original, the gold that's painted on. This was the first print, which has this kind of gold color, but it doesn't have any kind of sheen to it. It's flat gold, speedball ink. And then finally we figured out that we could use this color paint and screen print each one by hand. So each one had to be done by hand. So these prints will drop soon with the drop, but they're, they're coming, they're cool. Today is a little crazy. I really have just a ton of cleaning to do because my house this week has gotten in quite the wreck. I'm being creative. I get super messy. Well, I'm pretty messy anyway, but it's because I'm creative. Really, I'm gonna probably sign off for a little bit and I'll come check back in, but I've honestly got to clean this fucking house. This Room is crazy. There's still shit that's not put up. There's just tons of shit going on. I may not even check back in. This may be it. This may be it for the lot. My landlord's coming on Monday, so I gotta like get everything done. Here, I got somebody here to mow this grass. Domestic shit, bro. Nothing fun. Bunch of domestic shit. But I do think tomorrow, podcast. Saturday podcast. I'm gonna make sure I get everything set up tonight. Podcast to get popping. So we'll have a Saturday podcast that will stream on YouTube as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I got a lot to do. I got a copier to put together, cork board to hang up. I got weed to smoke. I got shoes to boost. 
Oh, one other thing that's happened. I posted these 500s I wore today. And a lot of people just keep going off and telling me I should wear other brands because I'm wearing a shoe without boost. Guys are tripping, first off. I'm appreciating the 500 for what it is, but it's not it does not take the cake or anything. It's comfortable, comfortable enough. I've reviewed the 500. I told people what I thought about its comfort. It did surprise me, but in no way has it replaced Boost. And in no way, just because I'm wearing something from a company like Adidas, who I like a good portion of the things that they do, does that mean that I'm gonna run over to a company who's I don't like anything they do? I'm also not interested in this herd mentality that is sneakers and sneaker culture, is that everybody needs to move from thing to thing together. We're not an entity, we're individuals. So my individual fucking ass is saying, I don't wanna wear Nike. So really, like you guys discussing it amongst each other and saying like, well, you really should, doesn't do anything for you. I don't let other people dress me. My own fucking mama ain't been able to dress me since I was a fucking baby so the shit is weird just chill out if I want to wear a Nike I will go out and buy a fucking Nike but that react looks like a trash bag fucking upper and the bottom and honestly the silhouette looks like an ultra boost except they put plastic on the upper and use some fucking Lego connects as the goddamn sole so if y'all could stop being hype beast at least to me that would be great I want to talk about the universe art shoes that I actually like shit like that or Gucci this other shit just stop. I'm not going to listen to you. Um, other shoes though, Pharrell's, I did not get up to cop this morning. I'm technically sure if I have them, like, from the release. But you can pretty much assure that they're on the way regardless. And yes, my pre-order, just like everybody else's, got canceled. Because they all got canceled. Because Adidas fucked up. But anyway, that's the day. I'm going to get out of here, I think. I'm going to get this done early. Cleaning. Imagine a whole bunch of cleaning. And then wait. And then the reality tomorrow podcast. That's where we're at. All right, love y'all. Peace. I know I already said peace out on this vlog today, but I really have been cleaning and organizing all afternoon. So this doesn't look any different, <laughs> different really, but I moved some stuff out of here and went outside. So I gotta finish this whole pile, which is basically just kind of, this is random stuff I gotta go through. These are dishes that I can throw away, or glasses, whatever, I can throw away. This is Omar, what's up dude? Uh, this is my man that I found on the next door app, hooking up the yard. He's like, your yard's pretty long. I said, yes it is. So he's gonna do that. Got cork board for new ideas, more samples, prints, new copier. Getting this room cleaned up. Omar had to have his bed moved because it's not practical. And then this room, here we go. I moved it. Closets are fucking stupid because you don't really need access. I don't really even go in that closet. It gives me a lot more space for activities. This is gonna get out of here. This board will go on the wall. Mixer is not hooked up, but it's here. And uh, we should be able to podcast now. I think there's enough room in here to keep everything in here. Anyway, it's getting late. It's been a day. It's time for the weekend. So I'm gonna do the weekend going on. Omar, you wanna say goodbye? You wanna say bye to everybody? Huh? I know, you can't be in the yard because he's mowing it. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday. I'll be in San Diego. But it should get interesting anyway. All right, love y'all. Peace.